What's good guys, it's your boy Justin J coming to you with another video. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video, boys. Okay, first date tips for men. Guys, I know it can be kind of awkward on the first date if you don't know the right things to say, you don't know how to plan the date. Guys, I got it covered, here we go. So if I wanna invite a woman on a date with me, I would just text her, hey, Thursday at eight o'clock, I know this little spot in town we can go to, there's chill music, there's a dance floor, and there's really good food. If you have to go to a restaurant, if you're really dying to, do it like that, guys. Bring her somewhere where you can dance with her, where there might be somewhere where you can step out, maybe like a balcony, maybe in the back, and you talk there, you bring her inside, you change environments. So you give her some gentle conversation that intrigues her, right? Then you bring her back in, you spin her around a bunch of times and you dip and then you give her a drink and somehow she's gonna be like, I had a really good time tonight. And it almost sucks that we didn't have as much time to talk because we were just dancing the whole time and vibing, you know what I mean? Environment is key when planning a date. When you're in a different environment, you might take her to a site where you can see water, there's a nice view, that's something to talk about environment, nature, maybe she's big into nature, take her on a hike. Then you start talking about hiking, you start talking about animals, you start talking about trees, you start talking about different categories of trees, leaves. The girl could be a complete nerd, you do not know. But if you do bring her to a restaurant, right? You bring her to an establishment, assert yourself. When you walk in the room, the closest workers towards you guys, you go up to them, introduce yourself, halfway introduce her, and then you say I'd like a table for two. Guys, real women, real women are going to appreciate this. They're gonna be looking at you as you're just controlling the room. They're gonna be seeing how you articulate yourself. They're gonna see if you're that dominant guy in the space, but just comes off smooth. Everybody is going to be paying attention, but solely she will be paying attention. Guys, think about it like this. If you walked into a date, right? Clean cut, presentable. You're just very sure of yourself. Your posture's right, right? Everyone in the room is going to be like, Who's that guy? When they see her with you, it's gonna be like, okay, well, who is she? She is lucky to be with this guy right now. That's exactly what's gonna be going on, guys. You're not crazy. People are going to see this and it's going to make her shine. The woman does not shine without the man. Remember that, guys. Another tip, but guys, this is kind of leading into the first date, right? Like when you're planning. Guys, you want to give her directions. Hey, I want you to meet me here at eight o'clock, wear something red, see you there. And if she says something like, well, I don't really like that spot, can we go here instead? When a woman gives you any resistance like that, it's not gonna be a good first date. Trust and believe, it's not gonna be a good first date because a woman that really is into you, that likes what she sees and, and likes what she's hearing, guys, you can take her anywhere. You can take her anywhere she is going to be down, guys. It's not about the date, it's not about any of that. That's the quickest way to weed out a woman and know that you're just gonna know, I'm not gonna have the experience that I want on this first date. I'm already getting resistance before I'm on the date. And guys, we do not wanna deal with girls who are low interest. We wanna deal with girls who are high interest. We don't wanna deal with low interest women. I know a lot of guys have this misconception in their head of we want to take a low interest woman and turn it into a high interest woman. No, guys, because you have to add on a bunch of things. You have to go where she wants to go. No, it is about you. It's not about her. Remember, she does not shine unless you shine. Okay, guys, another tip. Guys, do not ask her about her ex. Let her ask you about your ex or let it just come up. Or here's a good one. I love to use it because it really exposes females dating experiences out here, they're not as good as you would come to believe, guys. Trust and believe. When you're a very non-judgmental guy and you know how to articulate yourself and make a woman feel comfortable, she is going to tell you her dating experiences and be completely honest. And not that she's gonna be honest about her body count, remember that, and do not ask that, guys. Do not ask about her body count. What are you trying to do, get hitched? Guys, look at it like this, right? If you ask a woman about her dating experiences on the dating apps, especially, she is gonna give you war stories. She's gonna give you sad stories and you're just gonna laugh and you're actually gonna feel more comfortable. Like, wow, she's really nothing to me. I'm out here catching great experiences while she's out here stepping on landmines. Guys, pay attention. All right, guys, please let her do all of the talking on the first date, guys. It should get to a point where she's like, well, geez, I'm over here just rambling on. Enough about me, what about you? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Where are you from? Let her do all the talking, guys, because when it comes to you, now you can give out little doses. 
little doses while she continues to flip it again because women can never keep the focus on you. She's going to talk about herself again and that is what you want. You give her a glimpse, you give her a glimpse, she starts talking about herself. Oh, well, I remember when I used to do this, we kind of have a similar thing going on. Da, 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 da. Let her yap, 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 guys. Then give her another glimpse, give her another glimpse into your life, let her see how much of a dope dude you are, right? But don't say too much. All right, guys, another tip, get sexual get sexual. I know you're going to be afraid and most guys don't have the confidence, but guys, it starts here. If she reciprocates energy to your advances, saying like sexual innuendos or maybe a little joke, you know what I mean? Guys, you're in there because no woman is going to reciprocate energy. She's going to instantly act uncomfortable if she does not like you like that, if she has low interest. And a lot of guys think that you need to be friends with a woman first. That's the best way to build a relationship. When they go after the guy that they really want to go after, it's completely reversed. It's completely backwards. Because guys, if you're sexually compatible, everything else will follow after. Think about it, guys. When a woman gets with a guy who she's highly sexually attracted to, there's always something about him that she can't change and it drives her crazy. And she is on a mission to change it. But the perfect guy who is attentive and willing to do whatever she wants to do. And as a solid dude, she just punishes him. She does not really respect him that much. Pay attention, guys. And I know it's backwards, but it is what it is. All right, brothers, do not show up with flowers. Do not show up with flowers, guys. That is the easiest way to turn a woman off. But I know they say that they like flowers. Guys, do not believe it. If this is the initial first date and you show up with flowers guys where's the buzzer at because th 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 this can't be real guys do it if you want to by all means go for it but guys never show up with flowers on the first date she's gonna know that you're a try hard she's gonna know that your intentions aren't even really that genuine because why is this guy giving me flowers what we're supposed to get to know each other right now so how much does he know and he's giving me flowers mark guys do not split the bill if you asked her out be a man, just pay the bill. Don't be like these guys in the videos talking about, am I getting any tonight? Oh no? All right, well, can you split the bill? Yeah, it's funny for those videos, the, the shock value, but guys, really being a stand-up dude, you asked her out just because things didn't go your way, that shows your lack of game. Last tip and then we're out of here. Guys, be masculine. If a woman just keeps constantly checking her phone, right? or maybe she strolls into the date 20 minutes late. Do not sit there and continue the date. You check her on it, you say something, and if she has a problem, get up, pay the bill, or whatever, just get up, leave, charge it to the game. But if she really respects you, she'll respect the fact that you checked her, and she'll be like, wow, I never even saw this as a problem. So many other men just let it slide. Guys, this will make a first date go so smooth. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all, boys.